Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and after a big break we will restart these video lessons hopefully now until finish this video training course. So this lesson today will be about layers and we will see some easy and quick examples on how to work with this uh, functionality called layers. So first of all, let me tell you that layers, it's a tool to organize or to sort information and you can take advantage of these layers, especially if you are working with very complex drawings and with a lot of entities, with a lot of information. So, um, to show you uh, some quick examples on the functionalities of this tool, let me open the dialog box for the layers. So, you should come to this home menu and then to this group called layers and there are se several ways on uh, on the way you can uh, call the function and open this dialog box and to create layers and manage them but i think the easiest one it is to come through here and open the manager of of the layers so should click and you open this big dialog box i will stretch it a little more and this is the box that manages all these functions. Uh, some things you should know about layers, it is that um, even that you don't know or you don't work or you don't want to work with layers, AutoCAD by default has one layer called zero. You can see in this little column of, of the name. So it's identified by the name. This layer uh, uh, zero cannot be deleted and you have it always. And what you can do now is to create new layers, um, on, not on top, but uh, adding new layers to your drawings. And you can uh, create new layers also in several ways. One of the ways it is through this icon here which will create a new layer or coming into this list and make a click with the right mouse button like this and you can for example say new layer or as, as I said if you come here new layer also. So there are several ways and you have more ways okay. By default, if you don't want to give it a new name, uh, the system will say layer 1 and then 2, 3, 4 and, and, and going. But I will leave now this layer 1 just saying enter and I confirm. Anyway, um, whenever, whenever I want, I can click on top of this and change the name. Okay, it's no, it's no problem. And the idea behind the layers is that you have some definitions uh, attached to the layers. And the main ones are the color, the line type and the line weight. So for example, I can come to this color column and say, for example, red. And now you see that the layer 1 has the color red assigned to it. So, if I go here, I can auto-hide. I have a new di uh, another dialog box and this dialog box shows me always one important feature of the system which is the active layer. So, you can have a lot of layers in your system but you can have only one layer that we call the current or the active one. And this active one, it is the layer that every time I create one entity, for example, this line I've created now, 
and this layer, uh, this line, sorry, will be placed or it will belong to this layer zero. Okay. If I want to uh, create a new entity and uh, put it on in my layer one, I can come to this list, open it and say layer one. And now you see layer one, it is the current one. If I make a new line, it will be in red because I said um, this layer has a definition of red color. I will show this window again and you see when I change the layer in terms of what was the active or the current one, this label, this uh, green label here changed place. I can do it on the other dialog box or I can say here it's the same or I can do a click with my right mouse button also saying set current so I have several ways the important thing to understand it is uh, the current one it it's where every time I create an entity the entity will be placed and the other important um, functionality to understand also it is that I have these characteristics assigned to each layer in particular. So now you know that you can create new ones, you can manage all these informations and you can see here I can create, I can um, add another one, I can delete them, I can make them current. I have a lot of things to, to, to do here. Okay, I can de delete them for example also this layer 2, delete it and I can delete it because it was not current and had no entities um, inside or, be, or belonging to this layer 2 that I've deleted. Um, besides this uh, color, light time and line weight, I have other things I can manage in layers. For example, transparency and I can say instead of zero I can say 50 and you see the line was uh, more transparent so I can change this status also. Um, I can make other things I can uh, and that is the part which is interesting I can say uh, on or off which is saying in terms of the layer zero remember this white line it is on the layer zero if i say off it disappear not deleted just disappear and this is a very nice way to uh, manage the information i have in my drawing okay um, i can do this uh, on off i can do this freeze uh, or thaw and the freeze for example it has more or less the same effect that the on off but besides uh, switch the entities off it will um, limit uh, or it will forget the entities and the system will not calculate them or um, it will not consider them um, to be uh, processed every time you make a, a, a regeneration or something okay so it, it will make you the system lighter and faster if you freeze uh, you can say for example the lock and lock also um, and the lock and lock makes something which is um, make it impossible to edit for example if i try to uh, delete the entity you see the lock on top of it so it will not allow me to edit the the entity so the transparent uh, you you know it already you can assign a plot style which is something that we are going to see later and there is one nice thing also which is the plot i can say no plot and uh, even that i see the all the entities or the entities of one layer um, i can say 
I print everything on the screen, but the entities belonging to a specific layer will not be plotted. Okay, uh, plotted or, or printed. And this is a, a, a freeze in all viewports. In the viewports, it is something that we still did not see in this training course also. So basically, this is how to work with layers. You have a lot of functions also uh, outside of, the, of this manager, but I, I like to, they, they do basically the same thing. So you can see off, uh, isolate, freeze, lock. It's the same thing that you can do inside the, the manager. And besides, for example, you can open um, also this list and do directly here, for example, off. You see, even that I say layer one is current, I can manage the, 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 mo the most important items, which are the on off, the freeze or the lock and the color. Uh, I can manage them directly here instead of opening this big dialog box. So in terms of layers and uh, very, I think, quick uh, approach to uh, the way uh, how we can manage this, uh, I think it is shown. I hope it was clear to you, but we will use them uh, starting from now. Uh, on the remaining video lessons and if you you can check also uh, in our channel we are publishing uh, we, are, we, are, we are starting in fact uh, at this moment we are publishing um, exercises for now in 2D and a little later on in 3D also and uh, we will use also these layer functionalities so I think you'll have a lot of uh, information uh, about how to manage uh, these capabilities of AutoCAD. And as you know also, uh, you can contact us or make uh, making us comments in the, um, in, in, in the proper section of, of the video. And we will help you in all your questions or, or uh, problems that you may have.